Hey guys, BB Shattuck here. In case if you don't recognize me with my Lexi hat, I have received about six messages today about etch and people complaining of jitters. So I'm just gonna talk a little bit about caffeine and metabolism in this amazing product that now we have. As you ponder on my beautiful painting in the back, just the lighting is right here. I'm outside at the pool with the kids. So anyways, um, caffeine is a powerful drug. It's a natural drug, but it's a powerful drug. Um, we use caffeine in the NICU to resuscitate babies when they have respiratory distress um, or apnea. It's a powerful stimulant. So having said that, let's talk about this caffeine that we have in Edge and why it might be a little different than your standard cup of coffee. First of all, I want to tell you that this is a pure form of caffeine. I don't know where my camera is here. I'm kind of getting confused, but um, <clears throat> but beyond that, there's two other ingredients that make this product amazing, the theanine and theacrine. Theacrine is gonna help you no build tolerance to this product. When I started drinking coffee, one cup was enough, and then you add the second, and then you have to put double espresso, triple espresso, blah, blah, blah. So, why do I tell you this? Because the amino acid in it is going to help you respond different. It's going to help your brain respond differently. So you might get a little jittery with this product until your body adjusts to this form of caffeine. Okay, having said that, a lot of people are taking this product on an empty stomach. I do not recommend it, and this, this is why. Caffeine has to be metabolized by your body, okay? I think the average time for the body to feel the effect of caffeine can be between 30 and 45 minutes, but the half-life of caffeine is four to six hours. That's what most um, energy drinks last four hours. After the four hours, you tend to crash. That is not the case with Edge. I took it at 10 in the morning. I did not feel tired until 11 p.m. And like I say, we're not gonna do a product training right now, but it's because of the other two ingredients and how they work with metabolism. So what do I recommend? I recommend you eat some protein, but also some carbohydrates when you take this product, before you take this product, eat. Why is that? Food affects metabolism. People that like to drink say that when they eat, after they drink um, a meal that is heavy in carbohydrates and fats, they tend to feel less the hangover the next day. Why is that? How come fatty food and carbohydrate and high sugar foods do that? Because they kick the liver, which caffeine has to be metabolized through the bloodstream and the liver, into a higher gear. So if you're eating low carb, high protein, uh, low fat, the caffeine is gonna linger more because the body's gonna take longer metabolizing it. So. A little bit of fat, a little bit of carbs is probably gonna improve your chances to metabolize edge um, so you won't be jittery. jittery. Um, <clears throat> I will recommend you eat always, always. Um, I will recommend you take it early and I recommend that you honestly give your body a, a time to get used to this product so your body can adjust. The great news, this is a product that you will not build a tolerance to, which makes me so happy. Most products with caffeine, you have to take more and more, but the other two components make this product amazing, you guys. I love the caffeine. I unpacked yesterday my suitcases. While I was unpacking, I did laundry and planned dinner. So uh, does it work? Uh, yes, it does. I definitely got my edge. I hope you get it too. Stay plexi, and I'm going back to the pool with my boys. Love you guys.